So here we are at a random subway in London. Uh, we just decided to set up a stall here. Um, what I'm going to be doing today is I've got these little order forms here that we made up and we're going to be buying people vegan subway and then we're going to be handing out information. We've got a little bit of footage here if they want to see it. But the thing that inspired this is the other day I got some food on the internet, ordered some subway and we got a six inch and a foot long Turns out that I misread the menu and I accidentally ordered real meat and I was very disappointed in myself when it came. Opened it up, could smell it. We could smell the difference between the plant-based one and the meat one and I felt absolutely terrible. I thought it was their mistake, but it was actually my mistake. So what we're going to be doing today is trying to sort of outweigh that by buying everyone free vegan lunch from Subway. We're not working with Subway for this. I just have set this up. I didn't really even ask. We're just going to buy everyone vegan lunch and see what they think of the Subway meatless sub. And they've also got, what have we got here? A vegan patty. Let's do it. Free food? We're buying Subway for everyone today. You want some free food, mate? The thing about doing new forms of activism, you always feel a bit funny at the start. Like, you know, you feel a bit like, I uh, just set up a table in the middle of the street. But uh, after you get like a few people come up, kind of feel a bit better about it, a bit more comfortable. Okay, so behind me here we have Taz. Taz is going to be helping us out today. Um, she'll be taking in the order forms uh, into the subway to pay for them and yeah. So we, we're we very grateful for all our Patreons who are helping us buy everyone vegan lunch today and helping undo, you know, my mistake by ordering actual meat from that subway. Very, very disturbing. And even today, like, we, we even buy it if there's a vegan that wants free Subway too. Because uh, the idea is to undo the other, the bad Subway that we got. Yeah, so I didn't eat the Subway, of course. I opened it, I smelt it, I knew it wasn't meat, and it went in the bin. Free food, mate? Buying everyone Subway today. You guys want some free Subway? We're buying everyone that walks past Subway. What if I stand here like a waiter waiting to take someone's order? You want some free Subway? We're buying everyone lunch today. If we're giving out free bottles of vodka, mate, and a pack of durries, I'm sure everyone will be, be keen on that. Want some free food, mate? No, you're up. Right. We're buying everyone Subway for lunch today. Yeah, I thought but, Subway but we're only buying because we're doing this. We're doing this for animals, so we only buy the meatless meatball, the vegan patty, and you can. Give me a meatball one, please. Here you go. Do you what guys want to make an order too? Perfect. I can't read it though. We're, we're buying everyone our lunch today, meatless meatball or vegan patty. Just fill it out with the pencil. Hey brother, you want vegan, wait, wait, you want vegan cheese or no cheese? Vegan cheese. Vegan cheese, boom. Have a look at my some free soup. You want some free food? We're buying everyone Subway, but only because uh, we're, we're, we're trying to help animals. We will buy a vegan sub for free today. Maybe. Yeah. Why just, um, Subway? Yeah, just fill out your little form here. Tell me what you want. So, all right, we're getting a what, six inch? Inch. We're raising awareness about animals here. Yeah, thank we're, you so much. Yeah. Thank you. So well, thank you. We, we don't need animals because we, we, it's, it's cruel, you know. So we, like what I usually do is I show people like what happens in farms and slaughterhouses. Like yeah, I, I don't want to see yeah, yeah. So they're horrible. Yeah. Yeah. It's a way forward what you're trying to say. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to be cruel to animals. We want to have some food, and yeah, this yeah. is a good way. But my uh, daughter's fiance is vegetarian. But I won't lie, I'm not. But yeah. I'm trying to, I will. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so... The, so why are you doing it? We promote veganism. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm an animal rights activist. Yeah. We want to help uh, animals yeah. be free from yeah. Yeah. farms and slaughterhouses. Yeah. The dairy, like for the milk and the cheese as oh, well, yeah. they, they exploit the cows and kill the cows. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh so all the cows in the dairy industry for the milk, yeah. they get sent to the slaughterhouse and turned into beef. Is it? Yeah. Oh, oh my God, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. And the, in the egg industry, it's the same. So they they yeah. they yeah. use them for their eggs, yeah, yeah. and then they kill them when they can't produce eggs anymore. Because, oh my God. Yeah. So that's why we do vegan. We do plant based, and every everything on here, the ch even the cheese here, this is made from plants. What the plants? Yeah. Like you can get cheese made from coconuts or cashew nuts or yeah, yeah. But I think if more people saw what what in what happens in the slaughterhouses and on the right. yeah, then they realise. They realise, yeah, yeah, definitely. Do you guys want some uh, a free subway? I'll buy you subway. What's the catch? Why are you doing subway? Uh, we're trying to help animals because uh, this yeah. this is uh, this is vegan subway, so there's no animals in there, no animal products, and we're just trying to promote. Um, we want animal cruelty to stop. So we're, we're yeah. You down with that? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, so they're all the animals in the dairy industry, egg industry, all slaughtered, and uh, so we're trying to like uh, promote vegan options where you, because there's a subway nearly everywhere. It's it's pretty affordable, and there's good vegan stuff in there, and we want people to buy more of that. You know. Hey, bless you. You sound like you really care about animal cruelty. You should look at, into it. Yeah. No worries. It's my birthday today, so we're buying everyone presents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Happy See? Happy birthday to you. Um, what was I going to say? Happy birthday to you. Wait, wait. So See, when you said, like, um, yeah. eggs, like, protecting eggs, is that, like, protecting the eggs? Or nah, nah, the chickens because like in the egg industry they kill all the males because the males won't grow up to, to lay eggs so they put them in a big blender called a macerator. Can you, uh, so you yeah. say when we eat chicken that's only the mouth? So, so, so yeah, but when you eat the eggs like you're supporting an industry that so that kills the male chicks for starters in a blender yeah. and they, on their first as soon as they hatch. Mm. I've got footage of it over there too. But um, and then see, and then uh, when the egg production declines they kill all the hens and turn them into flesh and you know it's horrible. But um, the dairy cows will get slaughtered, turned into beef as well, into burgers. So the, the, the dairy cows will be impregnated, have their calves taken, all right? Year after year for about four or five years, and then when their uh, milk production declines after losing their children, it's a very horrible industry, yeah. they get slaughtered as well. So, yeah. Yeah. And the pigs here in the UK, the main method for stunning the pigs is a gas chamber. So they put them in this dungeon in a cage in the gas and they scream for their lives. A horrible place. Yeah. So the gas chamber, they got one in Manchester. You can hear them screaming from out the front. It's really disturbing. That's torture. Yeah, yeah they torture animals here all the time. I, I, th I think even like killing someone quickly, it's not, near, you know, like we don't accept that with humans. <laughs> Just kill them quickly. Yeah. We do this to animals every single day for a five minute meal, you know. Yeah, for, for a meal that what you'll forget about, you probably don't remember what you had for lunch two days ago. That was an animal's entire life. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not in a corruption. Oh, I'm trying to go to heaven. It was nice to meet you anyway. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Peace to you, though. You made a difference. Yeah, no, we're trying, we're trying. We hope we have. We hope that everyone likes the sandwiches. She's paying for the sandwiches, they're coming. Maria? Thank you so much. Maria? Thank you. Thank you. Have a Okay. Bless you all. All right, then. Take care. Take care, everyone. Bye, bye. Yes, thank you. Take care. See you later. Bye bye. All right, so that was like the first time I've had like eight people out the front of Subway talking to them. It was, it turned out okay. Like it was a little bit difficult getting their names right. I didn't think that through properly, but it opened up the conversation because I was giving them something. So they were more wi willing to listen to the discussion about animal rights, which I think is a really good opener, a really good foot in the door, a really good icebreaker to like get people like listening. Oh, this guy's, he's giving us a sandwich, which is nice of him. And let's listen to what he has to say now. You know, I was very tempted to grab this iPad here and share the footage with the girls, but it was almost like they were reacting so well. Hey brother, do you want a, do you want a free Subway? Uh, I'm just, I'm buying people Subway, vegan Subway. We don't work for Subway. We're just trying to create awareness about uh, the animals. This is uh, some information on where to eat, how to shop, uh, what veganism uh, is. Okay, cool. Have you heard of veganism before? Yeah, I'm vegetarian. You're vegetarian? Yeah, well, yeah, mostly. Mostly vegetarian? Yeah, yeah, I still eat fish. You still eat fish? Oh, so like a pes you mean like yeah, a pescatarian yeah, kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah, so we're like, yeah, we talk about dairy and egg industries and um, try to get people to connect to the animals. Okay, cool. It's nice that you're doing this. Yeah, a lot of people don't, they don't see what goes on. It's all behind closed doors, isn't it? Isn't it like in these farms and... Have you found anything recently? Sorry? Any, any recent... Investigations? Yeah, yeah. There was one uh, flat house farms investigation in Lincolnshire uh, to do with pigs and the red tractor actually dropped them from the red tractor scheme. Uh, it's horrible, actually. I've got a bit here. Um, so with pigs, they, they obviously artificially inseminate them a lot of the time. So they take the semen from boars and they put the semen in the females. Yeah, this was found there. See this fever campaigns here? This is terrible. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't eat I couldn't eat pork. I couldn't yeah. eat pig. Well, thank you this so is for you. Really On the front here is a vegan challenge. If you're ever it's free. Oh, yeah. Challenge twenty two. So if you ever want to like some free guidance on going vegan, um, you can ch challenge twenty two it. Cool, okay, nice. Peace to you my friend. Yeah, Take care, eh? Yeah, so we tried to ask for them without the plastic bags, but they can't actually hand the food over because of COVID through the, the plastic sort of shield without putting them in a plastic bag, they said. We asked them, we tried, but yeah. Hopefully people are responsible with their plastic bags and recycle them or put them somewhere, reuse them. But yeah, that's a shame.
If anyone wants a table like this, we'll flash it up on the screen now. 20 quid. You can do activism literally anywhere. We know we got these like this here. We got this same place, Amazon. We got we got these little order forms printed in the morning. Like um, Taz helps with all the uh, the pamphlets and stuff like this. Easy. Yes, mate. Hey, brother. How you going? I like you. Cheers, mate. We're buying everyone a sandwich. You want a free Subway? Yeah, why not? Here you go. Fill, fill this out. Uh, we're buying... Picture of you. Yeah, nice. of course you can, mate. Nice one. Thanks, mate. Have you had one meatless meatball before here? No, They're good. They're good. You see some of my videos, have you? Yeah, sure. I saw a lot, basically. Yeah, yeah. I was doing this uh, plant-based diet for a yeah. while. Yeah, yeah. What happened? I couldn't maintain it, to be honest. Why, why? What happened? Uh, I don't know. I was just... Convenience or yeah. habit? Yeah. Fell yeah. back off. Did you ever see um, some of the footage of the animals and all that? Or? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. It's very sad. What do you think about that? Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's the main thing to stop eating meat. Yeah, it is. The main reason. I'll take one of those. Yeah. yeah. This is Challenge 22. They help you staying vegan, going vegan. Okay. Yeah. To make... I'm planning to get back there, my friend. Yeah. For sure, for sure. You know, when you're against animal cruelty, it only makes sense that you stop completely, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you know, you already know it's wrong, you've been educated. Like the fact you're saying when uh, people like uh, dogs and stuff like that, they become <laughs> hypocrites. Yeah, you know? it was a hypocrite, yeah. 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 And we, almost if I had a pig here and I was like, oh, who wants a bacon sandwich? I'll stab the yeah, pig yeah, and people yeah, would yeah. come up and say, what are you doing? But they, they pay for it to happen in closed doors. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But the only reason these slaughterhouses exist is because of most people as well. Most people, are, they, they're not aware of these they're things, not. you know? No. They haven't yeah. seen it. But um, you are. Yeah. That's you right. are aware. That's right. that's right. That's so when you know, like, so, it's... But I want to tell you, the main reason was I started these things. Because I saw a documentary called Game Changers. Yeah, yeah. I'm a martial artist as well. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. James yeah. Wilkes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. what were you eating? Like healthy, healthy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Lots of legumes. Don't put yourself in the healthy box. Just, you know, be kind to the animals, you know. And uh, you can always have unhealthy food exactly. if you want. Yeah, and that's yeah. vegan as well, you know. For sure, man. Boom. All right, it's fantastic. Thanks very much. Take care. T send me an email that you're back on the vegan thing All soon. Right, I will. All right. Free food? Buy a subway, mate, for you, just for you, for Chris Christmas present, for him, early. So um, I see a trend, um, really nice guy, I see a trend of people going plant-based for health and going back to eating animals. He did say that he, he knows a bit about the animal cruelty stuff and he, he's seen a bit of my content so he would know, but um, I think when you focus on the health side of it, you know, instead of the ethics, uh, it can be easy to fall off. You need to drill the ethics home. You need to drill on, like, would you stab a dog in the throat and eat their body? Would you kill a pig right here? If I had a pig right here, would you kill them? So stop paying others to do it for you. We want, we're buying everyone vegan Subway who walks past. Do you, want, do you guys want one? Just, here you go, so you can make a little order here. The meatless meatball or the, or the vegan patty? I love the meatless meatballs, they're really- Is the meatless really, meat, are they nice? They're really good, yeah, I love them. And they've got the vegan cheese there if you want vegan cheese, and the garlic aioli is really good. I'm a meat eater, I'm, I'm a meat eater. I used to be too. I'm a 25 years, 26 years I was a meat eater. Don't you, don't you try it. If I charge, I'm not going to stop eating meat. I'm but like, but um, you guys want a Subway too? Uh, yeah, I just wanted to find out what, what food is. I'm buying, I'm buying everyone Subway today, here you go. Just fill out one of these, what you want, um, but it's, it's only vegan. You deliver it to the house, what? Nah, nah, nah. Nah, I'm just buying it for you out the front here. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a vegan activist. I'm, I'm buying everyone free vegan Subway, so a meatless meatball or a, meat, a vegan patty, and we'll bring it bring it out to you. Really? Yeah. Which one? It's only one. Yeah. It's a good call. I'm going to be doing that. You're against animal cruelty, though, you see? You'd be against animal cruelty, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so what we're doing, with like a vegan is someone who doesn't eat dairy, eggs, or use animal products at all. So we don't wear them. We don't uh, want animals being tested on. And well, my it's about being. Was a, the other day to me about. Yeah, yeah. So it's against animal cruelty. You know what I mean? No, I hate you, I love animals. You love animals? I hate. Yeah, animal love. You hate seeing animals being. Yeah. So in the dairy and egg industries, they're all slaughtered. They're all treated like objects, basically, to get products from, and then they're they're, they're put in a slaughterhouse. I just hate animal cruelty in the first place. I yeah. Yeah, so like we're showing people that you you know you can you can have a meatball sub, you can have like some food without animals being stabbed to death and yeah yeah. I'm gonna get your subs for you, right? One sec. So like in the egg industry, right? I don't know if you know much about the egg egg industry. No. So when when they they put in these uh, they're called parent breeding sheds, okay. and they they have like ten roosters in there with a bunch of hens and they mate the hens okay. and they fertilize the eggs, right? 
Then the eggs come out, they go to a hatchery to be incubated, and then they get they separate the males and the females, okay? Oh, big, the males won't lay eggs, so they put the males on a conveyor belt and they put them in a big blender. Oh, shit. Yeah. So they do. They do this for all eggs, organic, free range. Are you for real? This is, this is, they do this in the UK, organic and free range. This is actually filmed in the UK here. They macerate the males or... So they get rid of the males? Because they don't give eggs. So the egg industry don't want them. They don't use them for their meat because they're a different breed. Uh, no. They want to live. If they go live, they want to live. They do this as soon as they hatch. Just so people can have egg on their, on their toast. But most people don't know about this. They wouldn't pay for it, you know? Hey, so it's crazy. It's horrible. Yeah. I saw something similar to that um, was in China. Yeah. Where they had all dogs caged up, yeah, locked yeah. up. Really bad. You, most of the pet public are against the dog meat trade, what you're talking yeah. about, but they will eat the pigs and the cows and the, you know, it's, it's the same, isn't it? The animals need humans to protect them because they can't protect themselves. Exactly. Yeah. So without us, they really, they're helpless. They're ne they'll never stop being slaughtered. They'll always be slaughtered. I think if um, we put a slaughterhouse here in the middle of the public, just slaughtering animals here, people would be terrified, horrified, calling the police. But they will go back into a supermarket, they'll buy the meat, you know. They don't want to, you know, it's just... All right, all right, who we got here? Chanel, bless you guys, take care, eh? All right, take care, guys, eh? Did you take Did you take one of these? Yeah, you got one? All right, peace to you, eh? He's born a vegan. He's born vegetarian. Born vegetarian? It's not that I just don't like food. Yeah, yeah. Because we are farmers and my family's kids, they kill buffaloes for me. Yeah, yeah. Like, when you do eat... When you're young? I'm a Muslim. You're a Muslim and they killed the buffaloes in front of you. Me, they took their heads off and some of the buffalo is uh, just there are suffering. Horrible. And buffalo is a big animal to kill. Yeah. yeah. And then sometimes there's no lamb or chicken. And then sometimes there's no chicken. Look ahead of chickens still running around. They still run around. So in 10 minutes you see chicken running around. It's not nice, it? So the buff the, they killed the buffalo with a knife and cut their head off, yeah, and yeah. the buffalo took a long time to die, and the blood was spraying out. Yeah. It was a nice, it was one of my buffaloes. Yeah. A friend, a friend of yours. No, my buffalo. Your buffalo. Because we are farmers. So yeah. My buffalo, my buffalo. Okay. Here you go, guys. Sorry, thank you very much. God bless you. I hope everything goes well for you. Bless you too, my friend. I'll look after you too. Yeah. Take care, guys. All right. Peace to you. See you later. Saying he was a farmer. They were farmers and um, he had a buffalo and the family killed the buffalo. I don't, yeah, it's cut the buffalo's head off. So like as a child to see a buffalo be, had their throat slashed open and slowly die, that would leave a mark on you that you would never forget. And that's why he says he avoids eating meat. Um, but now he knows about the egg industry, like the way they reacted to the egg industry then was powerful. Like, I mean, I can't see them buying eggs again after this. Um, but good people, you know, good people react like that when they see bad things. Um, yeah, I don't have much confidence in some people who watch that and maybe laugh or leave a comment like, you know, insensitive comment or something like that. But, you know, we're trying to reach those people who are ready to change and are willing to change. I've been in a Hellas slaughterhouse in Bali. Um, a non-stun slaughterhouse in Bali is one of the most horrific things I've witnessed. So to witness that as a, a child um, can only leave a horrible impression on you. Sorry, my friend. Here, here you go. We're trying to raise awareness too. We're trying to show people like, hey, you know, you can eat without being cruel to animals. You know what I mean? I have this, yeah. Yeah. My friend. Here you go, my friend. Take care. Thank you. Bless you, eh? No one gets excited about meatless meatball subs as I do. No one gets as excited as I do about meatless meatball subs. Especially about people who have never tried them, trying them. No worries. No, I'm, I've started having vegan. Have you? Yeah, it's, it's an alternative to having halal food. Yeah, because vegan is always halal. Yes, it's all plant-based anyway, so that's yeah. not animal. So yeah. It's, you want to try one, mate? It's just free food. It's, it's free, free food, food, brother. I'm buying only only vegan stuff because we're trying to help the animals here. Meatless meatball or vegan patty. Help you just write what you want and I'll go in and get it for you. All right, we'll get you this one. They must be freaking out how many meatball subs we're buying today, eh? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're trying to, to talk, teach people about animal cruelty as well, you know what I mean? I don't like that one. That one. Yeah, I don't like animals to be touched. No. You don't like animal cruelty, eh? Yeah. I don't like them to be touched. Yeah, no, it's not good, eh? Nah. It's bad. Yeah. So You're Muslim? Yeah. I'm yeah. Muslim. Yeah. Yeah, Muslims they say about the not causing animals suffering as well. What they want is like to 
sacrifice right? Sacrifice. It's crazy. Isn't it? People. Nah. There's lots of vegan Muslims now though. Yeah. Lots of Muslims that are vegan. They only they don't eat any meat or any. I don't even eat meat. Yeah. I don't eat meat. Yeah, that's good. All right, so they've only got um this one left. So we got you the one of these ones instead. Foot long, yeah. Yeah, foot long vegan patty right. because the meatballs we we bought them out. They sold out. Here, you can order it and we'll get it for you. Huh? Well, I'll buy it for you. Here. What? We can give you a foot long or a six inch on a vegan patty. You tick these boxes and we'll go in and get it for you. Italian. Okay. Uh -huh. So we'll get you one of this, Italian. Do you want a big one or a small one? Huh? A bigger one or a smaller one? Any one, because uh, it's free, isn't it? It's free? We'll get you a big one then. No. Yeah, we'll get you a bigger one. No. Italian? I may not, I may not finish it. Get me a small one. Yeah, a small one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what's your name? I'll I put don't it. give my name. Oh, what's, what can I call you? Mrs. Mrs. Yeah. I'll give it to me now. Yeah, no, I'll go get it for you. One sec. One moment, you wait here? Yeah, yeah. You have to wait five minutes. Give me five minutes. This one has run out. Um, this one has run out, so you can only have this one. Vegan patty. This is for Mrs. This is a special one for Mrs. for you. Thank you. Okay, much. bless you. If I like it, I'll... You'll, I you'll you always get it. I'll refer to you. Okay, oh, bless nice you. Course, yeah. Peace. Peace. We only we only we, we ran out of meatballs, so we've only got um veggie patty. This is in England. I filmed it, filmed this. That's me inside of a, a pig farm in England. They keep them in these cages with their babies. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's bad, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. They do the blunt force trauma. They hit him on the floor. And they snip their tails off. Yeah. We don't have any meat meatballs left, but we've got vegan patties left. Just put what you want on there and put your name on the top and we'll get it for you. Okay. Thank you. Thank if, you very much. Take care. You want a napkin here? Here you go. Yeah. You want to take the bag? Yes, yeah. Okay. Here you go. Here, bro. Here. Take care, my friend, eh? Here. No worries. Peace to you, mate. I can get the box. Might have to pull these signs down in a sec, eh? Because we sold out the meatless meatball subs, we've given out a bunch of free sandwiches. We've done good, we've educated a few people, given out a lot of pamphlets. We're gonna take the sign down now. <laughs> you could probably do something like this similar if you wanted to like set up a little table out the front of somewhere and hand out vegan options. You get about a hundred quid, buy 10 meals for people. Um, it's a good way to like open up the conversation. Yeah, spread a good message, create a good a demand for vegan food here, which is what we're doing. We're creating the demand for the, the vegan food and we're showing people that there's options and alternatives around that uh, don't involve slaughterhouses. So yeah, so next time you're ordering uh, off Uber Eats, make sure you double, triple check before pressing uh, send <laughs> and uh, don't fall into the little trap that I did because they look so similar on that order form, the meatless meatball and the meatball sub. So yeah, uh, sometimes in my head, I just think, oh, the whole world's vegan and you really gotta be careful sometimes. So. So there we go, free vegan food at Subway done. It turned out pretty good, we handed out a lot of subs. And um, I think handing out food, when you're talking to people about you know, the topic of animal rights, is a really good icebreaker, so I really do recommend it. I'm gonna do more of it because it's been turning out fantastic. I wanna say thanks to Taz for running in and inside with all those orders. It'll be confusing, but uh, yeah. Um, handing out food, it's definitely a powerful way to get people just to stop and talk about animal rights. You're giving them something, you know, you're actually giving them an experience of vegan food that they might have never had before. They might not know that you can get vegan cheese and vegan meatless meatballs and all this stuff and that vegan food tastes good. They might just think vegan means salad. So it's a really powerful seed you can plant and you got a chance to educate them at the same time. So I highly recommend it. Hand out some food with your activism next time. This and a backpack to do that activism there. Now I can just walk off and go do activism somewhere else. And that's what we're gonna do. <laughs>